Hey guys, it's BLTX. Wow, that was wow, that was a big entrance. I'm gonna tone it down a bit. Let's start that again. Hey guys, it's BLTX. There we go. Welcome back to some more Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. Last time we started our adventure. Adventure got Adeline and Waddled, Waddledy and Adeline. Why do I keep mess messing up today? This time we are gonna be moving on to level three. Now that's a painting almost looks like a photograph. This thing. If we inhale it, we get Bomb Kirby. So, pretty cool. Personally speaking, I'm actually not a huge fan of Bomb Kirby. Yes, it does do damage, but there are just other abilities I like in here better, which... I don't know, I just like Needle Kirby better, which is weird, because normally, cause normally he, 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 I'd go for the ranged weapons rather than the melee ones, but... Clearly, in Kirby and Splatoon, that rule does not apply. Uh, but let's just, well, let's just get going. I'm gonna get this meat. I said I'm going to get... I said I'm going to get this... Please, let me eat my meat! My meat! Thank you. These... You guys are useless. I don't want you here. Please go away. Thank you. Unless you want... Unless you're giving me an ability... Get the heck out! So, let's go running into the castle. With this adorable Kirby body! I love Kirby! Uh, that thing will get us Needle Kirby. Really nothing new. Look at that! I've completed the yellow bar and gotten yet another one up. Which is amazing! Because you won't believe how scarce... How, you won't believe how scarce one-ups are in Kirby's adventure. Seriously! It's one of the reasons I like this game so much better. Um... Which is ironic, because this wasn't actually made by Kirby's original creator, Masahiro Sakurai. I use his name if you're not aware. And if you're not also, and if you're not aware, well, what kind of person are you? Ow! How do I have two bars of health? Okay, I need health badly. So let's get these stars. This part. The, this part art looks difficult, but it isn't. A, but it isn't actually actually that hard. Just time your jumps well, and you'll and you'll cruise right through. Uh, we go back here. Very thankfully, there is a maximum tomato, which is there's actually a lot of stuff here. I'm telling you about that I didn't learn until I was doing my original recordings, which is actually very nice. It shows how shows how failure can actually it actually shows how failure can help you. I'm gonna get rid of this though, because I don't want it. Okay, okay, well, I kind of do, but... I'm gonna get Cutter Curb... B. Let's see. Can I do something if I do this? I cannot... Uh, wow! Thank you! That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, we go over here... We get a sandwich, and will I still have this if I go through there? I don't think I will. I don't know how to get this shard! I've been trying to figure this out. Please tell me if you know. Is it more sparkly than usual? What if I do this? Okay, that does nothing. But, let's just move on. So, Adeline is here. Look at this. He will give us a maximum tomato. And guess what? Want to do something amazing? If you exit and come back, he will not give you a ma another maximum, so no, you cannot cheat the game. But he will not always give you a maximum. Sometimes, um, it will likely depend on what you need. If you if you have a, quite a few one-ups, he will get, if you have quite a few, if you have quite a few one-ups below health, he will give you a maximum. If you have quite a lot of health below, uh, if you have quite a lot of health, if you have quite a lot of health, but not many lives, he will give you a 1-up. Personally, I prefer the 1-up, but it's still nice. But with that, at, let's, at, let's move on. Go up the stairs, and actually, no, I don't want to go up the stairs, because if we go up here, there is a crystal shard. Yes, I did plan that out. Thank you, Ribbon. So, let's get going. Do this star. Do this star. I don't know what, I don't know what that is. That's some kind of dance routine. Killsaw, uh, Killsaw will get you more Cutter Kirby. Again, I'm not a fan of it. But, hey. You got... Sometimes you just gotta live with what the game gives you. Let's just go up the stairs. 
defeat this thing. And God, could you Im and God, could you imagine living in a castle like this? Why would you? Why would anyone want to live in a place like this? I mean, I guess if you're mentally insane, sure. But I'm gonna stop talking before I insult anyone. I'll insult anyone. I promise I don't intend to do that. Uh. I know I said I don't like Cutter Kirby, but I th but I think I'm gonna keep it for the upcoming boss fight. Yes, there is a boss fight coming up. I hope you expected that. Cause if not, I just spoiled your uh, oiled your day again. Oh no, it's DDD! He's a blue penguin! Okay, okay, no, he's not really a penguin, but everybody says he is. I used to think he was. It's a good time. Should have given me the shard, DDD. And why aren't they a? And why aren't they taking? <laughs> Kirby's face there! Oh my god! Ah, uh, but seriously, why aren't they a taking over Kirby? Clearly, he's powerful. I don't know why they don't just do that from the start. Boss fight not too difficult. No, get me! No, get me! Oh, I st oh, I still have my ability. Good. Another thing, Kirby's, Kirby's adventure will, will, ha will have you get rid of your ability. <laughs> ability whenever you're hit. Which is extremely annoying. Like, this game is, like, I legitimately enjoy this game a lot more than Kirby's adventure. And that was a Sakurai made game. This is not. I don't want to be insulting anyone, but seriously. I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to mock Sakurai, but... I really- I don't know. I'm gonna stop talking now. Come on, DDD. No! Come on, join us, please! No, I like your quirky antics in the anime! <laughs> yeah, ah, join it! That was horrible. Oh, let's go for the one up. Made it! Yes! God, I'm doing so much better this run! Amazing! Unfortunately, I still missed that first crystal shard. So with that, we'll move on to level death or level skull. Wispy Woods. A very this guy this guy is a, this guy is a staple boss is a staple is a staple boss in the Kirby series, and I really like his boss fight here. It's amazing. Basically uh basically, basically what we have to but basically what we have to do is very sim is very simply get rid of these tree stumps. We're supposed to inhale those apples to get rid of them. Which I'm going to do because again I want to show this uh, of myself doing this legitimately. Okay, technically it is legitimate, but but I mean the way they intended us to do it. So I inhale the sapple. I'm gonna wait a bit for the attack me. I know it sounds weird for that I want him to attack me, but I want to do something. Okay, screw it. I'll just let him die right now. I was going to let you live a bit longer, but screw it. Basically what basically what I want to show uh, but it, basically what I want what I wanted to show what I wanted to show is that they can spit to stop your apple or jump over it. But fine, he was just too desperate to die. Spit like that actually. There you go, you actually saw what it looked like. So we inhale an apple. He will bring up these tree roots. Very simply, we we just spit the apple back out. I do not bel I do not believe the the, the I do not believe the apples will give you more health. I'll see if it will, but no, it does not. And I just wasted time. I am so, which is wonderful. And I am an enthusiastic speedrunner. Is that really the right, is that really the right term I want to use? I'm a guy who enjoys the speedrunning running community and wish a and in a way wishes to be one. There. Yes, yes, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll be honest, I just, I do occasionally wish I were a speedrunner, but I just do not have the skills to do it. Let's do it, because have you ever seen a speedrunner? Like, those guys are amazing! Hey, amazing, I had, actually, I should watch a speedrunner, I wish, I should watch a speedrunner of this game sometime and see what they do. Oh, because, God, the speedrunners, speedrunners are amazing, I love the, uh, I love the way they play. It, it truly is incredible. Uh, but let's just defeat Wispy Woods. And why is he even called Wispy Woods? Isn't Wisp like a ghost thing? Speaking of ghosts, I think I've just become one. Amazing, I died to Wispy Woods. 
I'll be right back. Okay, there you go. You saw him jump over it. Okay, back to Wispy Woods. This time we will not fail. So, oh my god, he didn't even mean to launch that apple yet, and I still hit him. Can we continue this stroke of luck? Let's see. There we go. Good. Come on. Come on. Keep them coming. 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 Got tongue twister. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Double apple power. Kids, remember this. If you eat if you eat two apples at the same time, you will be able to kill your enemies. The trees. Okay, no, save the trees. There you go. Can we do this? Can we do this? We can. <laughs> okay. Look at his face! Why does this kid have so many good face? It's like, just take serious this out of the moment. Ah! Oh, God. Let's just, let's just grab our shard. Oh, oh Kirby's so cute! Oh, hi, Kirby! Look at that. It looks like early Earth! It is still forming! Surely it is not a planet yet, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Are you a forming planet, a planet, or a star? <sighs> I don't know. This game has weird logic. Because how are these planets? This one is a yellow star. What material is yellow? Anyway. I'm gonna stop this right I'm gonna stop this right here and next time on Kirby 64 the Crystal Shards we will be exploring Rock Star or Rock Planet or whatever you wanna call it. See you guys next time.